Yeah, <laughs> We have made it, y'all. It is postseason football time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and people from all around the world, it is yours truly, Rocky, in the building, and nothing's wrong with my eyes. Y'all can see clearly. I just thought, I just found this, and I thought this is something pretty interesting to wear, so I just said, screw it. Let me just go ahead and wear this just for today. Because, why not? Anywho, <clears throat> we got six games this weekend. Hang on real quick. Just got a little notice. Yeah, we got six games. One, we got two games today, two games tomorrow, and two games Monday. Um, the Steelers-Bills game has been moved from tomorrow at 1 Easter to Monday at 4.30 Easter. Because of a snowstorm that's up in Buffalo right now. So, everybody, I know the Arctic Blast is going to impact the majority of the country. Um, here in Houston, we're going to get some cold, cold temperatures tomorrow night all the way till Wednesday. So, everyone in Houston, please be careful. Everybody should know when it comes to cold weather, make sure your pipes are covered well. Make sure they don't freeze. Let the water drip overnight so the pipes won't stay frozen. And um, make sure all your pets and plants are inside the home where they're nice and warm. So please be on the lookout. Also with uh, stray pets, if you have a car, no more than likely little pets will be under your car to stay warm. So what you want to do is you want to hit, like, hit you like your um, hood, honk the horn or something before you start your car, so you may not run them over. That's my little PSA for today. But other than that, let's go ahead. We're going to do a quick, and I'm going to do a quick analysis and picks. Not going to bore you guys too much. So we're going to go in order with the game scheduled here. Um, let's go ahead and get started. First up, the Cleveland Browns at the Houston Texans at 4.30 Eastern Time on NBC and Peacock. Um, these two met on Christmas Eve, actually, um, same spot, different team. Um, the fact that CJ Stroud and a few others didn't play in that game, had to go with the backups, you know, hey, you have a game, you got, there's a reason why you got a depth chart. But now with the majority of the team getting healthier and the way they're performing, they may have a higher confidence. As for Cleveland, they need to, uh, the Cleveland Browns are looking really, really nice. Um, I would say that the Browns may be one of those surprise uh, entrants for uh, shock of the year when it comes to the sports. I mean, granted, the Texans, I believe, have shock of the year for the regular season altogether. The fact that last year they went 3-13-1, and, and now all of a sudden 10-7, and seven, they won the AFC South. So that might be my big shocker for uh, for the season. But um, as to who I think is going to win this game, I'm going to give it to the Houston Texans. I think with the uh, C.J. Stroud um, vibe he gives with the team, it's more positive. Plus a guy like D'Amico Ryans who trusts his players who knows what they got to do. Just go ahead and execute all your plays. Um, it's going to be a different game, and I think they're going to win that one. Next up, later tonight at 8 Eastern, only on Peacock, the Miami Dolphins at the Kansas City Chiefs. A um, little controversy about this game because, one, the game is on a streaming service, so you have to subscribe to get a streaming service, which... I know a lot of people are not too thrilled about that. I believe that for sure in the postseason sense. Um, regular season, maybe, if you want to do a little switcheroos instead of just regular TV like you always do. But when it's postseason time, free TV all around. All around. Um, 
Plus, another little controversy is the fact that Miami and Kansas City, they're both playing in super cold weather. I believe by kickoff, it's supposed to be like either at five degrees or like right at zero. It's going to be freezing cold. So, now people are wondering, should every professional stadium have a retractable roof type stadium? Which I say yes. I think when these type of things happen, because what it is, is you have a less chance of people getting sick. And I get that, you know, like, hey, it's whether you make the choice on whether you go to the game or not. So I understand people want to experience postseason. Postseason fields are way different than regular season fields. So almost lost my dad gun my patch. Anyway. You know, I get that it's the postseason. This is now your chance to see who's going to become the champion. But uh Um you want to make sure everybody's well taken care of, you know. It's not like we're back in the 60s where everybody was wide open. And even then, we had the Astrodome where it was all closed up. So, if it was super cold or rainy outside, we're like, ha, we're nice and cozy inside. Ha, <laughs> ha. So, but um, back to the game itself. Tyreek Hill going against his old squad like they did when they faced each other earlier this year in Germany, of all places. Um, this time you're in Kansas City, and I'm going to pick the Chiefs. I think the Miami can't handle that cold weather. Um, plus, Patrick Mahomes is trying to make statements that he is the one to be beaten. So I'm going with the Chiefs on that one. Now, Sunday's games, like I mentioned, there were three at first, but now it's only two. So... We'll go ahead with 4.30 Eastern on Fox. The Green Bay Packers at the Dallas Cowboys. Um, another Packers-Cowboy matchup in a postseason. My goodness, the history of these two teams, I could go on forever. But just know, Ice Bowl, Des Bryant missed catch. Um, Aaron Rodgers coming through in the last minute where Mason Crosby kicked the game winning field goal. That's most of the stuff you need to know. Um... That Prescott looks pretty good this year. He did not commit that many turnovers like he did a season or two before. Um, Cowboys look pretty nice. They actually feel they're doing well. The Packers just came out of nowhere. Like, they struggled at first, but then they started to develop pretty well. Um, as for who I think is going to win this game... I think Jordan Love is going to shock the world and knock off the Dallas Cowboys. I got the Packers over the Cowboys. You heard that right. And I like to see the crowd act, do the whole crying reaction again. Because you know, you know Stephen A is going to go insane. He's going to laugh like crazy. And I, I'm all in for that. <laughs> Later that night at 8 Eastern... On NBC, we have the L.A. Rams versus the Detroit Lions. in Ford Field, first time ever, Ford Field is going to have a postseason game other than saying they're hosting a Super Bowl like they did in Super Bowl 40. Woo! My goodness. Talk about a team that came out of nowhere. The Detroit Lions. Wow, those guys are ready to roll. Jared Goff looking pretty nice. Um, you know, you got a Monroe St. Brown doing his thing. Now, I did hear, I believe Sam Laporta will be out when he suffered that injury last Sunday, which is very unfortunate. Um, as for the Rams, Matt Stafford, first game against the Lions since he got traded to the Rams. Help led them to beat the Bengals in the Super Bowl a couple years ago. Um, now we have, um, you know, he got Cooper Cup still. But then another young, this is like the start of a whole new era coming. Because I'll say this, this receiver to have pool, uh, 
Puka Nakua? He nice. He's going to be nice to see. As for the victory, I'm giving it to the Detroit Lions at home. Um, I think the Lions are hungrier. Now, a lot of people would like to see the Lions and the Cowboys face off again, especially after what happened in that controversy with that ineligible uh, man downfield call and that two-point conversion. Like, they want the Lions to get retribution on that. I don't think it's going to happen this year. Maybe next season, but not this season. Now we got two games Monday. So one at 4.30 Eastern. I believe it will be on CBS. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers at the Buffalo Bills. Hopefully it will clear up to make sure that no one gets caught up in that nasty weather with the snowstorm. Um, let's break that one down. Um, the Pittsburgh Steelers, another winning record. What a surprise. But this time it was just enough for them to get into the playoffs because the Jacksonville Jaguars choked uh, against the Titans last Sunday. So there's a little sadness on that end. And then um, um, Kenny Pickett, I would say, is not fully prepared for the season. So I think with Pittsburgh, they smartly got um, still kept Mason Rudolph because he's a vet. He's used to that environment. As for um, Mitch Trubisky, he just needs to leave altogether. But um, Pittsburgh's running game is pretty good. Najee Harris is a good runner. Uh, I forgot the backup's name. I'm so stupid. I'm so sorry. Not to offend anybody, but, you know, Pittsburgh got a good running game. George Pickens and Deontay Johnson receiving with Pat Fryer Milk. You know, they look pretty nice as well. Um, the defense would not have T.J. Watt. He suffered a knee sprain. I believe it's grade three or grade two. Either way, it's going to take him out for a while if he's going to try to come back, but he's not going to be able to play on Monday. As for the Buffalo Bills, you know, we all know the same story with the Bills. Pre, uh, postseason contenders, obviously. Josh Allen doing his thing. Um... Stephon Diggs, Gabe Davis, you know, Dawson Knox, got Cook running for him. So it's going to be nice to see. Um, as for what I think is going to win, I'm going to pull the big shocker. I have the Pittsburgh Steelers to knock off the Buffalo Bills. Sorry, Buffalo. It's just not going to pan out. I think Pittsburgh, this is going to be the year of some big, big upsets. Y'all wait and see. And then finally, on Monday Night Football, you have the Philadelphia Eagles and the Tampa Bay Bucks on 8 Eastern on ABC and ESPN. Um, This one was a bit of a surprise because the Eagles had the Division One in their hands. All they had to do was win two more games, and that was it. But they blew it away, especially losing to the Giants in the final game of the season. And the Cowboys took care of... Uh, the Washington Commanders, and that's how the Cowboys won the division and not Philly. Oh, well, it happens. <laughs> um, Tampa Bay, obviously, they're the one team that the lowest record, they just got a above 500 record, 9-8. and eight, And how did they manage to get in the playoffs is the fact that Division winners got to be in, and unfortunately, the NFC South was the weak division this year. So, there's that. Um, Baker Mayfield is a pretty decent quarterback. Had a few up and down moments. Um, got good receiver with, Chris, with Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. Decent running game. Defense is actually pretty top notch. This is a pretty good defense. Um, they'll have their little moments too. But as for this game, I got the Philadelphia Eagles to knock off the Bucks. It's going to be interesting to see, y'all. A lot of people are putting their conspiracy theory hats and say that it's going to be the Niners Ravens anyway because of the colors of the Super Bowl. So who knows? It might be. But either way, I'm about to go ahead. Let me take off this damn eye patch. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine for now, but uh, 
that's going to do it for um, the Wild Card Weekend. We'll come back next week for Division Rounds. Um, comment below, folks. Who do you think got a good chance to win the Super Bowl this year? Um, but either that, that's going to do it. Again, I appreciate every single one of y'all. What a crazy season we had. And we're going to have some more crazy postseason moments. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to yours truly, and share among those that might need some advice on who Big Bull win. Hey, I finished the year 174-98. I'll take that every day. Regular season record picks under 100 losses? Either way, I will see y'all later.